Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Friday, February 12th, 2021. All right, let's get started. One across. Starbucks say? Hmm. Bucks is capitalized, so that means it's a proper noun of some kind. I wonder if this is... Isn't there a basketball team called the Bucks? Hmm. Where do they play though? I don't think I know where they play out of. I don't even know if that would be quite right to just put the, the city there for that. That's interesting. I'm gonna try and keep in mind that this might be an NBA answer though. Chility quality. It's not ice, it has to be, it has to be an adjective. It would have to be like icy. I don't even think icy is right, though. It'd have to be like iciness. Hmm. Eagles org. Okay, Eagles are NFL. And I think they might be looking for something a little bit more specific than NFL. And I think I'm pretty sure the Eagles are in the AFC, American Football Conference, as opposed to the National Football Conference. I think those are the two conferences in the NFL. Cable news host Melbourne. That's Ari, I believe. Oh, oh, we've got two A's up here. That doesn't look good. So maybe it's just going to be the NFL here after all. Interesting. Let me let me look at one of these this cross here and see if that can help us. A famous one is often connected with a school. Hmm. Is it like? It's not a alum, alumnus, is it? I guess it could be, but I'm pretty sure about this, Ari. Huh. All right, let's take a look at this cross here. Gal Gadot by birth. She's Israeli. It's not NFL or AFC. Interesting. Okay. Israeli. So what in the world is this then? Is there an Eagles team in another sport that I'm not? thinking of? Hmm. It's not Major League Soccer. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, well, let's look at these downs over here then. Sporty Chevy. Chevy. Hmm. Accepts as a lesser charge. This is like if you negotiate with your lender or your credit card or something like that to get maybe a lower rate. Hmm. Noted speaker of more than 20 languages. Wow. Um, hmm. It's not like the Dalai Lama or something. Interesting. Boy, we kind of hit a wall up here, didn't we? This one is often connected with a school. Hmm. President? Well, no, presidents are all famous. That wouldn't really make sense to specify that. Wow, okay, well, let's move on to a different section. We kind of struck out there. Trap. Hmm. Ensnare, maybe? I like those letters. Let's put that in and see if it helps. No plank. Well, I kind of feel like that should be no way. No something? Musical acuity. It's going to be ear. Trick in slang. Hmm. Is it like a skateboard trick, maybe? Hmm. Well, at least ear kind of maybe confirmed in snare let's see here released in segments that should be kind of like serialized or something right like um like in a magazine like a story could be serialized is that does that fit that doesn't really hmm Cr 
cry heard by Alice in Alice in Wonderland. Hmm. I have actually read Alice in Wonderland. But I'm not sure what this is going to be. Hmm. Swell. Engorge? Enlarge? Hmm. Major retail outlets. Well, is it like malls or something? Hmm. True celeb. Is this going to be a trick of some kind? I feel like... Hmm. I don't know if this is going to be a name necessarily. Hmm. Boy, this is a tough one. Continuing, continuing on yesterday's theme of tough end of the week puzzle. It's always up to something. Hmm. I have a feeling this is going to be kind of a wordplay answer. Let someone know if you can go. Uh, let is a very tricky word. Um, because it can both be present tense and past tense. So this might be be a past tense clue, and in that case, we might be able to put in RSVP'd like that. Um, yeah, that's super tricky. I've, that's that's uh, caught me up a bunch of times in the past. Okay, carrier for many a Israeli will be El Al. That's just the Israeli airline. Okay, we've made a little bit of progress in this section here. Drifter, that V helps so much. Vagrant. Arms repositories. <laughs> this isn't talking about weapons. This is talking about sleeves in a shirt. Okay. Um, let up. Let up. Interesting. That's one word. Is it refrain? Like you. You don't. You refrain from doing something. You don't do something. Maybe that could be, although the, these look bad down here. Let's see what this is. Record finish. Yeah, that should be EST. Like, a, this is, it would be the suffix you would put at the end of some kind of record, like fastest or strongest or something like that. It's like a superlative suffix. Okay, so it can't be refrain, I guess. Company whose most famous famous product once claimed it does what Nintendo don't. That's definitely Sega. That's a propaganda from the console wars of the 1990s. Um, yeah, I was definitely a Nintendo partisan, but I definitely, now that I'm older, appreciate what Sega was doing. All right, some of the first three prime numbers. Uh, I guess that's 10, two, three, and five. All right, Russian prince nicknamed Moneybag. I guess that's maybe Ivan something. Is it Ivan the fifth? He was on the puzzle the other day. I know he, I think he did have a lot of money. Is this gonna be a V? Dreaded fate for a samurai. Uh, hmm. I'm not sure. Okay, a let up maybe is a, 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 res, a respite, which is like a, a rest from something. Yeah, like so if something bad lets up, it would be a respite. One of the few gemstones that naturally occur in a single color, olive green. Hmm, it starts with P-E-R. Hmm, I don't know if I'm gonna know this gemstone unnecessarily spell out in a way something explain right is it mansplain yeah let me explain what mansplaining i'm just kidding sorry <laughs> i couldn't help myself <laughs> all right um let's see here so what is yeah I, I, this just doesn't look familiar to me Hmm. 
Yeah, still no help up there. It's up. It's always up to something. Hmm. I wonder if this ends in down. I wonder, you know, maybe it's not like to do with the bank. It could be like a charge as in like a charge from a judge or a court. So, but wouldn't it be please down? Or, or it could be like pled down. But that's not the right part of speech, I don't think. But I do like down, so maybe I'll keep that in. Fail miserably. Huh. Influenced. Hmm. Maybe it's not down and maybe it's, maybe it is pleads to. That would make sense. That's the right, the right part of speech. Um, yeah, I think maybe that's right. Fail, miser fail miserably with a T this time. Hmm, I'm still not sure about that. Hmm. I want it to be parano. I don't know why that's in my head. I-N-O-E. Could that be right? Could this start with an N? Dreaded fate for a samurai. I mean, it just, it seems like there could be a lot of bad fates if you were a samurai. Mostly to do with dying in battle. Hmm. Beast vanquished by Oedipus. Hmm. I'm not sure. Wasn't... Didn't... Did he vanquish the Sphinx? I think that might be right, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna put that in. I think that might be right. How do you spell Sphinx? Is it like that? I think that... Okay, that looks okay. Let's see if this X can help us. Adult and then some... Uh, maybe it's triple X rated. They put the three X's right in a row in this grid. That'd be pretty gutsy. All right. It may be added to the mix. Hmm. What kind of mix? Like trail mix? Goes past. Exceeds. Ooh, that could be right. Yeah, excellent. All right, I think we, we might have gotten triple X rated on our puzzle. Very nice. All right, and we have a C at the end of this word. Hmm, or at least in segments. Hmm, let's see if this starts with an I. Melon seeds. Okay, so this is a wordplay clue, and melon is slang for your head or your brain, right? So maybe seeds in your brain are ideas yeah i like that a lot okay it's usually around nine tenths of a pound hmm adds as a disk to a disk drive i feel like this is probably going to end in in um there's probably an S here too. Is it reads in? Eh, I'm not sure about that. I did grow up with disks, disk drives and computers, but hmm, I'm not sure what this should be. Molly coddles. Um, yeah, molly coddling is like um, spoiling kind of, or like doting on excessively or pampering kind of, or shielding someone from the real world kind of hmm it probably it probably does end in an s but hmm trick bath occupant say well i have a feeling there's a, tr a tricky clue here a bath is i think a city in the UK and maybe this so maybe this is gonna be a Brit you'd be a Brit if you lived in Bath yeah okay so let's try that semi-synthetic fabrics 
Hmm. Definitely looks like it ends in S. I guess this could be rayons, maybe? That's a synthetic fabric. Bowlers. Excellent. Bowler is a kind of a hat. It's a also called a derby hat, I think. So that'll be derby hats. Like the brown derby it used to be the celebrity restaurant that all the famous people would go to. Okay. A trick could be a ruse. Okay, so maybe it's one euro. I guess that's the general exchange rate of a euro to a pound. It's pretty tricky too. Sister channel of HGTV. Hmm. Is it the Oprah Winfrey network? I don't think so. Hmm. Follower of Boo or Woo. Hmm. Shouldn't that be who? Like boohoo or woohoo? Um, okay. Well, I think that has to be right. So this is maybe loads in? I think that's, the, yeah, that's a pretty good answer. And then cossets. Yeah, that's a way of saying like shielding someone or protecting someone. Cosseted. Yeah, that's a good word. Okay, so maybe this is TLC, and then what is this? The Euro? Oh no, that's terrible. <laughs> this, the word the should very rarely be used in a, in, as Phil, and this is a, an example of why it's so bad. The Euro, it should definitely have been one Euro. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty bad. Okay, sometimes it crops up every once in a while. I've seen the NHL a bunch of times, and I always groan when I see it. Okay, um, a lost, hmm. Post delivery announcement, maybe it's a boy, I guess. It has to be boy, because girl wouldn't, wouldn't fit. It flows with the wind, hmm. There's a lot of options there. Storage option. I guess it could be a bin, like a storage bin. Blank to a superhero, Weird Al's parody of Piano Man. Uh, is it Ode? Ode to a superhero? I've never heard this one. Blank out, ear out. That's umpire speak there. Player of Warren Buffett in Too Big to Fail. I don't know this, but it looks like it's gonna be Ed Asner. Yeah. He was, um on the Mary Tyler Moore Show and in Roots, we as we learned a few days ago. Lost, I guess that's at sea. It flows with the wind, oh. Hmm, is it Lee Tide? I guess that would make sense because when you're a Lee, you're shielded from the wind, is that right? Yeah. I. I guess that would make sense. I'm not 100% sure of the logic on that one, but one of 3,365 in US Route 20. I guess that's miles. It's a long route. All right, you can figure it out. Do the math. This is an example of when it's acceptable to have the word the in your answer. Not so much here, but when it's part of a phrase, it's perfectly fine. Okay, heap love on, that's a dote on. Let's see if we can get this first one here. Four by four for one. Uh, that could be an SUV maybe, sport utility vehicle. Check out that four by four. Okay, one who's out of action. Hmm, maybe a veteran? Yeah, cause action is like, a slang for being in the military or being, I think it's more for being in a theater of war actually, but yeah. So a veteran would be somebody who's not active in the military anymore. Italian dessert topped with crumbled macaroons. Ooh, that sounds good. Hmm. What is it though? I'm not sure if I know what this is. Hmm. Dangerous compound to mix with bleach. Uh. Uh, I don't know. 
Yeah, let's not try any dangerous chemical experiments at home. Wrapper cool blank D. Oof, yeah, I definitely don't know that one. TV film star who became a pro wrestler. That's Mr. T, right? I think he did some pro wrestling. Hmm. What's this one? Coating produced by oxidation. That's a patina. It's like, um, uh, if you see the Statue of Liberty, how she's all green, that's a oxidized copper. So when she was brand new, she was a copper color. And then over the years, she developed a patina. So that's why she's kind of mossy green like that now. Cope with it. Hmm. Let's not deal with it. Hmm. Oh, okay, yeah. The um, samurai era was an era of the honor code, right? So the worst thing that could happen would be for you to be dishonored. Yeah, dishonor. I guess that's a fate worse than death. All right. So, hmm, I'm still not sure what this is. Accessory that might hang out of a waistcoat. I think that might be a watch chain. Watch chain, yes. A waistcoat is kind of an old-timey piece of clothing. And a watch chain is sort of an old-timey accessory that would go with it. Maybe it's hack it? Cope? Yeah, I guess that's sort of right. Can you hack it? Sharp in increase? Um, is Sphinx with an I? Yeah, I guess that could be. Yeah, and then this is a hike, like the Fed hiked the interest rate. Yeah, and then this is Chex Mix, I guess. Chex Mix, yeah. Okay, so this is not SUV, because this is looking like ammonia. So maybe this is ATV, all-terrain vehicle, instead of SUV, yeah. Okay, uh, Italian dessert. I'm guessing this is Tortoni, because Tort is kind of like a a dessert in a bunch of languages. I think French has Torts also. So maybe this is Rapper Cool Mo D. Okay. All right, we, we, we did the bottom of the puzzle really nicely here. So let's see if we can clean up the top kind of hit a brick wall at the top at the beginning, so. Okay, influence, this W helps a lot. I think influence is gonna be swayed here. And then maybe this Y can help. Swell. Ooh, you know what? Swell doesn't mean to necessarily get bigger. It can also mean a slang term for something that's great, like 50s slang. So I think it's gonna be peachy keen. Unfortunately, ensnare looks like it's gonna be wrong. Or maybe that's a good thing, it'll help us. It's probably blocking our progress in that corner. So this is gonna be peachy keen. And then, yeah, just having the first letter of all these across us is gonna help so much. Trap. Hmm. Major retail outlets. Hmm. It's weird that it ends in A. I mean, I guess it's, it's gonna be plural, so I guess having an A at the end of a plural word, word, word isn't like super implausible, but, hmm. Would it be a, a gore A? No. True celeb, okay, that's gonna be an A-lister, right? That's a real celebrity, not any of these B or C-listers. Okay, trick in slang. So we already have ruse in, in here, so it can't be ruse, right? Hmm. Interesting. Scrap of food. Uh, a word for a scrap of food is orch. This is a very unusual word. I don't see it very often, but I do see it on puzzles every, every now and again. Yeah, it's just literally a little piece of food. This isn't no way still. 
Hmm. Interesting. Trap. Hmm. Oh, to be in England? Hmm. I guess that's a quote. I haven't heard of that one. I wonder who said that. Speckled say? Uh, is that Roan? Yeah, Roan, Roan is a like a horse coloring, so I think that might be right. And then fail miserably is tank. Yeah, that makes sense. So yeah, I think Roan is probably correct. It's always up to something. St <laughs> Staircase. Yeah, literally, it's always up to something or some somewhere. Unless you're in the Winchester house, then that's a whole other ball of wax. There's staircases to nowhere all over that place. Okay. Okay, I heard by Alice and Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, I think having ensnare in here really impeded our seeing what that might be because this is the classic I'm late cry by the white rabbit. Hmm. Okay, released in segments is episodic. Yeah, yeah, boy, ensnare really slowed us down up here. <laughs> Trap, oh my god, this is great. Trap is a slang for your mouth, and another slang term for your mouth is your pie hole. If you've ever heard someone say, shut your pie hole, it's equivalent to saying, shut your trap. Okay. Huh. Trick in slang. Huh. What is this? Hose? Hmm. No lie. Okay. If you need to say no lie, I don't know, that's a little suspicious. Okay, yeah, and then an emporium is a big retail outlet, so plural of emporium would be emporia. Hose? Hmm. I guess, like, I've, I've heard people say I got hosed, so... Yeah, I suppose that makes sense. I got tricked, I got hosed. I don't really hear it in that, like present tense. <laughs> so I guess it's, it's, it looks a little unusual to me, but yeah, I think it does make sense. Oh, noted speaker of more than 20 languages. I think that's going to be Siri, right? Apple's assistant. Okay. Um, sporty Chevy and this, okay. It's not Chevrolet, it's Chevy. So the answer is going to be abbreviated. So that's going to be Corvette or vet for short. Okay. So Blank MVPs. Okay, so it's all right. It's NBA MVPs. Yeah, so it is the NBA Bucks, and then really good Bucks are going to be NBA MVPs. Okay, nice. A famous one is often connected with a school. Okay, can we get this finally? Hmm. I don't think so. I still don't know what this is. Okay. Chili quality could be a nip, like there's a nip in the air. And then BS, what in the world? Is this printer? That just doesn't make sense to me. Painter? Oh yes, it's gonna be painter. Yeah, like not like an elementary school, but like a school of art, like an art style. Yeah. I guess, yeah, like like Dali would be connected to like the school of surrealism, I suppose. Yeah, so it's going to be painter. So what in the world is BSA? Oh, you know what that is? Boy Scouts of America, right? Eagle Scouts. Wow, that is so tricky. I got to say, though, I'm going to put in the A and hopefully we're going to be done. But I got to say, I really liked this puzzle a lot. I think this was great with the exception of this absolute clunker here. I think there was a lot of really nice, um, a lot of nice misdirection and wordplay stuff going on in this puzzle. So yeah, let's put in our A. Nice. All right. Yeah. And under 30 minutes too. So I guess um, even with that slow start in the north, I think that's a pretty good time for us for a Friday. Yeah. 
Um, it's, it's probably about average, average time, I'd say maybe. Okay, so yeah, I mean, other than this, like I said, just so much fun stuff in here. Pie hole, staircase. Um, yeah, even this like NBA, NBA MVPs is great. Um, painter, yeah. There's so much like great misdirection going on, which is exactly what you want to see in a late week New York Times puzzle. Sleeves, just so much good stuff here. Yeah, veteran was great. And not too much proper names either. Ed Asner made an appearance, but he's pretty gettable. All right, well, thank you so much for solving with me. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, I'm going to be back at you tomorrow for this Saturday. And uh, if you're in the mood for something a little more um, laid back and uh, a little easier, uh, if you want some like real um, kind of low level solving tips, I'm gonna be doing the late week New Yorker puzzle on Saturday. And that's gonna be full of kind of basic solving strategies and stuff, if that's something you're looking for. So yeah, that should be coming out this weekend along with the Saturday and Sunday. All right, I think that's gonna do it for now. I'll see you next time.